what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk today about michael myers and how he's going to escape laurie strode's trap from the end of the halloween 2018 movie we know at the end of that movie we found michael myers having been having been beat by the strode women they trap him in that basement and laurie strode throws a a flare down there with all the gasoline where she's standing around and the basement gets lit on fire and for all intents and purposes it looks like we have now seen the demise of michael myers now all of us fans who grew up watching these movies and have been waiting to see the return of this character we know that fire hasn't really worked on michael myers in the past from halloween 2 all that did was put him in a coma even though the original intent there was that they killed that character the character had been burned to death that was that's what john carpenter was going for until halloween 3 backlash and then they retconned that to say that oh he was just in a coma uh but getting back to what i wanted to talk about the strode women get away and michael myers is just left to burn in that basement of course we know that now that we are getting halloween kills not just halloween kills but we have halloween ends to look forward to next year if nothing delays halloween kills we were we are still going to be looking to have halloween ends out next year if it even starts production in time for its release date next year with everything going on this is a very fluid life we're all living in the, at this at this stage um of course things are going to get better at some point whether that be years from now or within the next coming months hopefully it's in the next coming months but for right now we know we're getting halloween kills this october and we're getting halloween ends in 2020 or 2021 rather but michael myers was essentially left for dead in that basement in 2018 film we see him and then when we turn back to see that basement again he's gone now i'm going to go into what i think is going to happen and how he's going to get out because we know he's going to get out we see him in the announcement trailer for halloween kills and halloween ends i believe standing there on the porch of the of the strode house what i think is going to end up happening is a a firefighter or somebody who is going to be called to that house they're going to end up going down there for some reason i'm not really too sure what would draw them to go down there uh perhaps just because that's where the fire started and they're going to try to put the fire out for whatever reason or maybe they go in there to see if they can retrieve the body of Michael Myers. I don't know. But somebody who is either an EMT or or a fire firefighter, they're going to go down there. They're going to break the bars somehow that because we know Lori's Lori's house that trap that they had for him. There's bars that are preventing him from getting out. These firefighters are going to be the ones that break these bars. They're most likely going to be the ones that bring tools along with them to break these bars. They go down there. Michael Myers is revealed to be hiding in the corner somewhere from the flames. A, a plate, this one spot in in that basement that is not being really that that badly uh, affected by the flames and the and the fire. And he's going to emerge and he's going to take them out and he's going to make his way upstairs. And then that's when we're going to end up with that scene of him standing on the porch with that stick in his hand because it looks like he's holding something that I'm assuming one of the firefighters would have had with them while they went down there. But Michael Myers is going to take advantage of the fact that they have broken their way in. Michael Myers is not stupid. He doesn't talk, but he's not stupid. Them having found a way in, that's going to let him know that he has a way out. But of course, before he gets out, he's going to do what he does best. And that's just kill people for no no rhyme or reason <laughs> he's gonna kill these firefighters and he's gonna make his way upstairs and then we're gonna get that scene of him standing on the porch with the with the fire still burning in the background uh, that's that's how i see michael myers getting out i think that's honestly how he will get out if this ends up happening i apologize if i've spoiled how michael myers is going to escape i'm just thinking of the most logical thing that could happen i don't see him just breaking the bars or something like that i believe in the novel the 2018 novel for that film if i'm remembering correctly i think somebody did mention the fact that novel states that he puts his hands on the bars and he breaks it with his bare hands while his skin is being burned i i personally don't want to see that i'm not really a big fan of that i'd rather you go a more humanized route because he's not supposed to be supernatural anymore have somebody a firefighter or somebody break into that into that cellar and he just escapes like that after he takes them out he avoids being burned to death he would emerge with a few minor burns to his mask a few minor burns to his jumpsuit 
a, a few minor burns or slight burns, major burns on his hand. And he just goes from there. He goes back after Lloyd Strode. He goes back after Karen. He goes back after Allison. He wants revenge now for what they have done. And let's, I hope they don't do that. I hope he doesn't even go after them. But at the same time, because if he, I feel like if he goes after them, that's breaking the code of him going after somebody for no reason. But at the same time, I also think that when we say he's going after somebody for no reason, we're looking for that. Is he related to this person? Does he have a personal gripe against them? Like, was he actually after them this whole time? No, I could look past him going after the, going after the strode women in Halloween Kills to get kind of like an eye for an eye type of deal because they tried to kill him. He wasn't looking for Laurie Strode in the 2018 film. A lot of people still have that misconception that he was looking for Laurie Strode in the 2018 film. No, he was not looking for Laurie Strode in the 1978 original film either because that sister subplot was not brought up until the, until the second film, the 1981 sequel. So in the original 1978 movie, Michael and Laurie Strode are not related. He went home to his house who knows what he was doing in there he hears noises at the front porch he comes to the porch where Lori's dropping off something that her dad told her to leave at the Myers house takes note of her and he just starts stalking her which leads to a night of him killing her friends and then he ultimately tries to kill her in the end he didn't specifically break out of Smith's Grove to go after his sister Lori Stroh because again they're not established as being related to the sequel they were not related whatsoever in that original film so going off of that back to the 2018 movie that's why you don't see him going after Lori Strode in that movie they ultimately come together because Dr. Sartain makes it so he brings Michael to her and Michael just flocks to where people are because Michael likes to kill people <laughs> um and then at the end of all of this what I want to talk about is the fact that once he escapes that fire he most likely is going to hopefully I, I'd rather him not go after them just that fast I'd, I'd like to see him go after other random people and then let's say he hears something on a radio or something after killing somebody that says that Lori Strode and her wife or not her wife her granddaughter and her daughter were all brought to brought to uh, Smith's Grove Hospital and that's when he is going to take note of the fact that oh that's where they are I'm going to go after, I'm going to go to that hospital and I'm going to get them back for what they did to me. That's what I would like to see happen. I don't want to see a film where Michael Myers is specifically going after them from the start because of what they did to him. That could be in the back of his head. He knows that three women tried to take him out, but I don't want to see him actually actively going after them because I think that's going to undo the he has no motive he operates without any rhyme or reason because he he did that very well in the 2018 film he is just going around killing just to kill there's no rhyme or reason to it he's just killing because that's what he wants to do but if they can establish something where he's doing something similar to that in halloween kills and he just ends up hearing and learning that the strodes were taken to the uh, the hospital in haddonfield or not I, I mentioned Smith's Grove or Smith's Grove earlier not Smith's Grove Haddonfield Memorial Hospital he hears that they're taking to the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital somehow after killing the victim and then he decides he wants to go to that hospital to get some payback I'd be all fine with that I'd be perfectly fine with that because I feel like what we're going to end up seeing is what I have mentioned that's how he's going to escape a firefighter somebody is going to go down into that cellar they're going to find their pry their way in to see if they can retrieve possibly a corpse of Michael Myers or they're also going down there to put out the source of the fire which is coming from the cellar of Lori Stroh's house and Lori could possibly be out let's say Lori is actually there being adamant that they don't need to put the fire out that could happen too but of course they're not going to listen to her they're just going to go in there and they're going to do what they want to do to take that fire out so it doesn't lead to something greater but that's what I think is going to happen. I think Michael Myers will end up escaping from that bunker because a firefighter would make his way downstairs and that's going to lead to that firefighter being taken out and then Michael Myers will emerge from the fire that way. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It's on our post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.